It's time for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Welcome to your Thursday, East Alabama and West Georgia. It is time for your primetime forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for Thursday, February 11, 2021 on Dr. Don's weather page. Don't forget to head over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. And if you'd like to become a partner, click on that send message button and we'll tell you how you can become a partner with Dr. Don's weather page before we do our next weather forecast. On this date, back in 1983, the Middle Atlantic Coast states and Southern New England were in the midst of a major snowstorm. In Pennsylvania, the storm produced 21 inches at Philadelphia, 24 inches at Harrisburg, 25 inches at Allentown, establishing record 24-hour totals and single storm totals for those locations. New York City received 22 inches of snow and 35 inches were reported at Glen Gary, located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of West Virginia. Windsor Locks, Connecticut received a record 19 inches of snow in just 12 hours. The storm resulted in 46 deaths, 33 of which occurred when a freight liner capsized and sank off the Maryland-Virginia coast. Heavy snow was reported from northeast Georgia all the way to eastern Maine on this date in 1983. Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for your Thursday. There is a marginal risk of strong storms across central Georgia, back over into northeast Georgia and portions of South Carolina, just general scattered thunderstorms across the rest of Alabama and Georgia. And now that marginal risk area does get awfully close to West Georgia. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the day. Don't really anticipate severe weather today or tonight, but a strong thunderstorm here or there cannot be ruled out. Here's your national map in motion. We see that cold front making it down into South Alabama or maybe extreme North Florida, and then it will stall out. And then we're going to have multiple impulses run along that cold front up to the north and northeast. And that's going to keep us in a very wet pattern uh, for the next 24 to 48 hours. And honestly, it extends even beyond that, uh, even into next week. Now, it's not going to be a complete washout all the time for the next four to five days, but there will be periods of heavy rainfall. Uh, as we go forth and we'll show you more about that in just a bit here's your expected high temperatures this afternoon Roanoke will go to 67 Wadley goes to 68 65 in Widawi, 64 in Woodland look at those 70s over there in West Georgia 71 in Franklin 72 in LaGrange how about 70 down in Valley 71 in Beauregard and then back toward the west a little bit cooler 60 over in Birmingham goes east southern Mississippi Valley satellite shot this morning showing the colder top clouds across northwest Alabama and then down there in southeast Mississippi all of that's moving off to the east northeast that's where the heavier rain uh, and a few embedded thunderstorms are taking place this morning there where you see those yellow and blue top clouds next five days some pretty healthy rainfall amounts across east Alabama and west Georgia we're looking Probably most locations uh, inch and three quarter to two inches, though some localized areas could see between two and three inches of rain before all is said and done by Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Taking a look at your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar this morning showing some thunderstorms over there just to the west of Birmingham. We'll bring that current uh, out there on I-20 between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. And then as we look back down into southeast Mississippi, uh, some showers right there just north of Birmingham. The leading edge of the rain now stretching from near Huntsville to Birmingham down to around Mobile. This is a very slow moving cold front. So it's going to take a minute for this thing to get over into East Alabama, probably be toward uh, well, certainly after mid-morning, probably toward noon before we start to see any rainfall across East Alabama or West Georgia. So here is the future cast radar in motion. 
and we'll take this out through 1 a.m. Saturday morning and you'll see those showers and thunderstorms move through here this afternoon and tonight and then on Friday uh, though we will have a chance of rain not a tremendous amount of rain on your Friday and then maybe late in the day early Saturday morning we get a cold front that will push through that will bring us some showers and then on Saturday you see it's just a scattered mess across East Alabama and West Georgia so like I said we will have periods of rain occasionally that will be heavy, uh, but the rest of the time it's just going to be a scattered uh, shower variety type setup, so it's not a complete uh, sot in rain, as my granddaddy used to say, that will last for days. Uh, though the chances of rain will last for days, it will not be a complete washout the entire time. Current conditions across East Alabama and West Georgia, 57 degrees at this hour. We did make it down to 52 early this morning at 124 a.m. Wind is currently calm, the dew point 55. Relative humidity, 94%. Air is saturated. Forecast for today, maybe some fog out there this morning. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect until 9 a.m. for most of our counties across East Alabama and West Georgia. Then after the fog burns off, showers and thunderstorms anytime after 9 a.m. this morning, probably looking toward noon before that gets into East Alabama and West Georgia. We'll go up to 67 this afternoon, rather mild for this time of year. Because of that, we'll have to keep an eye on the radar for a strong storm or two occasionally, but again, we don't expect this to be a major severe weather outbreak. We just don't have much instability at the surface. Wind uh, will be out of the south at five to 10 miles per hour, occasionally gusting to 20 miles per hour. So far, we have not received any precipitation. Sunrise at 6.29 a.m. this morning. Sun sets this evening at 5.23 p.m. So here's your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for your Thursday. 100% chance of showers and maybe even a thunderstorm this afternoon going into early evening. Again, we're not anticipating severe weather, but yeah, anytime you go 70 degrees in January, February, or March, you got to kind of pay attention to what's going on out there. So stay weather aware. Uh, 49 will be your overnight low, 90% chance of rain for the first half of your Thursday evening. And then on Friday, Friday morning, I think is okay. Friday afternoon, here comes another impulse. We'll increase your rain chances to 80% in the afternoon, 56 your high, 45 your overnight low with rain continuing on into the early uh, evening hours of Friday. And then pretty much the same setup on Saturday, a 70% chance of showers, but it's going to be of the scattered variety. So not a washout on your Saturday, 51 your high, much cooler, down to 39 on Saturday night with a 40% chance of rain. Sunday, a 30% chance of rain. Again, not a washout. 51-year high down to 41. Monday, another impulse will move to our south. A 50% chance of showers there. 53. And then on Tuesday, maybe we start to clear this stuff out with a 30% chance of showers. 46, your daytime high, cooling off tremendously down to 30 on Tuesday night. The good news here is no mention of frozen precipitation all the way out through next Tuesday. You'll remember the last couple of weeks, our models have been telling us that we had a major outbreak of Arctic air coming at us and it would be in here around the 14th or Valentine's Day. And there for a minute, we were fearful of a major ice storm around the 14th or the 15th. There is a chance we could see some frozen precipitation up in extreme Northwest Alabama. But for now, the profiles are telling us that that won't make it far enough south to cause any problems across East Alabama or West Georgia. So that is the good news. The bad news is it's going to be cloudy and rainy from time to time all the way through at least the middle of next week. Don't forget to check us out over at drdonwx.com. Severe Weather Awareness Week is coming up in the state of Alabama. Lots of folks asking questions about weather radios how to program them, what uh, channel should, should you set your weather radio to, and you uh, typically have to put in codes for your county. Uh, folks, all that information is over at drdonwx.com. If you have a NOAA weather radio that you're trying to program, they're relatively simple. All you have to do is go to drdonwx.com, click on the NOAA weather radio page, <clears throat> excuse me, the NOAA weather radio page, and then scroll down. There's a video on there that will walk you through step-by-step step on how to program your NOAA weather radio. The FIPS codes that you need for your counties uh, are listed there for Alabama and Georgia. And also, <clears throat> 
Wow, that's not COVID, I promise you. And also, uh, there uh, are listings there for the different transmitters around East Alabama and West Georgia that you can set your radios to to receive uh, the weather information. It all depends on where you are. If you're in East Alabama, you have a couple of options. You can listen to Mount Cheehaw or the LaGrange transmitter. If you're in West Georgia, uh, you can pretty much just tune to the LaGrange transmitter. Uh, whichever one is strongest, uh, your codes will be broadcast on both of those frequencies across East Alabama or West Georgia. Also, there's lots of information on there about how you can protect your family during severe weather. So I invite you to go to drdonwx.com. While you're there, run over to the God's Country page and download the Mixer app so you can listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. And also tune your radios to 89.7, the classic, East Alabama's classic rock giants. Top of this video, you'll see a link that will take you over to Dr. Don's weather page on YouTube. Go there and subscribe to our channel. Also click on that little notification bell so that when we go live to talk about severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get a push notification. Dr. Don's weather page is powered by our supporters, Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, Judy Aubrey by Brandon Brown of BR Construction, Wadley, Alabama. By Liesel, Kelly, and Lavoy Caldwell of Lake Weedowie Life. By Jimmy Stevens Construction, Remodeling and New Homes. By Joey Knight, Auction 431 South in Phoenix City. By Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning by Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash. By Joey Knight, Anchor Roofing, free estimates, free inspections. And by Mark Mitchell of Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, Alabama. Well, a final look at your radar scanning East Alabama and West Georgia this morning from Birmingham. We do have some heavy showers there just to the west of Birmingham over near Tuscaloosa. It's going to affect your drive this morning from Birmingham to Tuscaloosa on I-20. And that's moving off to the east-northeast. That particular complex won't make it into East Alabama. should go north of I-20, but there are more showers developing off to the south and the southwest that will make it into East Alabama after 9 or 10 a.m. this morning, probably more toward noontime before it gets into the areas. This line of showers and thunderstorms moving very slow this morning across West Alabama. We zoom out and get kind of a an idea of the big picture. We have rain stretching this morning uh, from Kentucky, where actually we have a pretty major ice storm underway up there in Kentucky and portions of Tennessee. Traveling uh, Travel is not advised up there. And then rain stretching in Alabama from near Huntsville down to around Birmingham to Mobile, slowly moving off to the east, northeast. Please head over to paypal.com me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. And if you own a business or if someone you know owns a business, tell them all you got to do is click on that send message button at the bottom of the video. Get in touch with me and I can have you started as a partner of Dr. Don's weather page by the time we do our very next weather forecast. Folks, we've got some major stuff underway in Georgia. Well, we do in Alabama also, but I work for the state of Georgia. And so that's my daytime paying job and <laughs> the one that pays the bills. And so um, we, we have some major projects underway, uh, just getting underway. So over the course uh, of the next, um, well, foreseeable future, as a matter of fact, there may be occasions where I am not able to post a daily primetime forecast uh, here on Facebook and YouTube. Now, I will continue to post weather information in our Facebook groups on Dr. Don's weather page in face on Facebook. And as I can, I will do the primetime forecast for you, but uh, probably not going to be an everyday occurrence moving forward uh, because of my obligations to, uh, to my daytime paying job. So I just want to let you know about that. If we go a day or two and you don't see me with the primetime forecast, that's what's going on. But again, anything you need to know, I will post it 
in text form on Facebook and on Dr. Don's weather page and in our weather group. So you will be informed on what's going on with the weather. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in here on your Saturday morning. We'll let you know just how long all of this rain is going to last. And is there a chance some frozen precipitation could creep into our forecast toward the middle part of next week? We're watching that possibility. And stay weather aware throughout your Thursday. Though we don't anticipate an outbreak of severe weather, we could have a few strong thunderstorms from time to time. I'll have a fantastic Thursday. We'll see you back in here on your Friday morning. Dr. Don's weather page. Have a great day. Bye now.